بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ ذی الافضال والانعام و اشر و لا الہ الا اللہ وحده لا شریک له الملك الاعلام و اشر و ان محمد عبدوه و رسوله خیر الانعام صل اللہ وسلم علیہ و علی آلہ و صحبہ الائمت الاعلام اما بعد احبت فی اللہ شیخنا شیخ عبد الرزاق البدر حفظ اللہ تعالی has written a very beneficial treatise and we're just going to read some of his explanation of hablillah of the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and many times we talked about the rope of Allah mentioning the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa i'tasimu bi hablillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and hold on to you all hold all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And we said that the Mufassireen from the Salaf, they said that the, the Hablillah, the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the Quran. And some say that it is the Quran and the Sunnah. And those definitions complement one another. But here we have a lot of evidence that the Shaykh mentioned, which shows without doubt that the Hablillah is the Quran, first and foremost. Then he said, the Shaykh said, and he began, he said, فَإِنَّ الْحَبْلَ اللَّهِ مَمْدُودٌ هُوَ قُرْآنَ الْكَرِيمٌ وَكَدْ جَاءَتْ تَسْمِيَتُهُ بِهَذَا الْإِسْمِ فِي سُنَّةَ السَّحِيحَ الثَّابِتَ عَنْ رُسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ فَقَدْ رُوِيَ الْإِمَامِ مُسْلَمْ فِي صَحِيحِ مِنْ حَدِيثِ زَيْدِ مِنْ عَرْقَمْ رضي الله تن عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ألا وإني تارك فيكم فقلين أحدهما كتاب الله عز وجل هو هبل الله من اتبعه كان على هدى ومن تركه كان على ضلالة. So the Sheikh said, verily the rope of Allah. that is extended, it is the Qur'an al karim the Noble Qur'an. And it has been mentioned in the Sunnah, in the authentic Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with this name. And Imam Muslim said in his book, As-Sahih, from the hadith Zayd ibn Arqam radiallahu ta'ala anhu that the messenger of Allah or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said verily I have left you two heavy things or, or lofty things one of them is the book of Allah azza wa jal and it is the hablillah whoever follows it, then they are on guidance. And whoever leaves it, then they are on misguidance. This is a hadith of the Prophet wasallam, showing us the importance of the rope of Allah and that that is the tafsir. So here we have the Quran being explained by the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah wasallam. وَرُوِيَ Imam Ahmed fi musnadihi من حديث أبي سعيد الخضري رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال كتاب الله حبل ممدود من السماء إلى الأرض. In the hadith of Imam Imam Ahmed collected in his Musnad from the hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the mess the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the book of Allah is the rope or the extended rope from the heavens to the earth. وَرُوِيَ إِبْنَ أَبِي شَيْبَ فِي مُسَنَّفِهِ مِنْ حَدِيثِ أَبِي شُرَيْحِ الْخَزَاعِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَنْعَنْهُ أَنَّ النَّبِيَّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمَ قَالَ 
أبشروا أبشروا أليس تشهدون أن لا إله إلا الله وأني رسول الله قالوا نعم قال فإن هذا القرآن سبب ترفه بيد الله وترفه بأيديكم فتمسكوا به فإنكم لن تدلوا ولن تهلكوا بعده أبدا In the hadith of Abi, uh, the hadith that was narrated in Ibn Abi Shayba, his book uh, entitled Al-Musannif, the Musannif Ibn of Ibi Abin, Ibi, uh, Ibn Abi Shayba, Rahmatullah Alayh, in the hadith of Abi Shuraih Al-Khaza'i, radiallahu ta'ala that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, have glad tidings. Have glad tidings. Do you not bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah? And, ver and verily that I am the messenger of Allah? And they said, yes. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, for verily the Quran is the re... Uh, Is the is the the reason, and a portion of it is in the hand of Allah, and a portion of it is in your hands. So adhere to it, for verily you will not be misguided, nor will you be destroyed after it ever. Meaning that holding on to the Quran. And the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam grants us success and protects us from destruction. And uh, by adhering to the Qur'an, we have safety. And may Allah bless us with that. وَرُوِيَ دَارَمِي عَنْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بِنْ مِسْعُودِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَنْعَنْهُ أَنَّهُ قَالْ إِنَّ هَذَا السَّرَاتِ مُحْتَذَرٌ تَحْذَرُهُ وَشَيَعْطِينَ ينادون يا عبد الله هذا الطريق فاعتسموا بهبل الله فإن هبل الله القرآن and then in a hadith that was narrated or collected in Darami or by Imam Darami the hadith of عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه who said that the Surat is attended by, uh, it, the, the Surat is attended, and that the devils are present up, uh, at it or upon it. And they call and they say, O slave of Allah, or it will be said, O slave of Allah, this is the path. Then adhere to the rope of Allah. For verily, the rope of Allah is the Quran. Then the Sheikh. Sheikh Abdul Razak said, وَهَذَا حَبْلَ مَمْدُودِ قَدْ أَنزَلَهُ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى هِدَايَةٍ لِلْبَشَرِ وَصَلَاحًا لِلنَّاسِ وَذِكْرًا لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَشَفَاءً لِمَا فِي صُدُورِ وَالْدَيَانٍ وَالْدِيَانٍ وَنُورٍ وَبَرَكَةٍ لِمَنْ كَانَ مِنْ أَهْلِهِ قَالَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى كتاب أنزلناه إليك مباركا ليدبروا آياته ويتذكروا أول الباب. Allah سبحانه وتعالى says, or the Sheikh mentioned before this ayat, the Sheikh said, this is the extended rope which Allah has revealed. تبارك وتعالى and he has revealed it as guidance 
for mankind and a rectification for the people and a reminder for the believers and a cure for the chests or the hearts and light and guidance and blessings for whoever is from its people. And the law, the Almighty said, and then he mentions a verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, a book that we have revealed it to you as a blessing so that they will reflect upon its ayats or its verses and to remember uh, and, and the only ones who remember or those who remember are the ulal al-bab meaning the, the people of knowledge and the people of fadl. وَقَالَ جَلَ وَعَلَى إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِيَ الَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمُ وَيُبَشِّرَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ صَالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ أَجْرًا كَبِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, Jalla wa Ala, mentioned also in the Qur'an, the verse where he said, Verily, this Qur'an guides to that which is just and is a glad tidings for the believers, those who do righteous deeds, and for them is a great reward. وَقَالَ تَعَالَى قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورٌ وَكِتَابٌ مُبِينٌ يَهْدِ بِهِ اللَّهُ مِنْ اتَّبَعَ رِدْوَانَهُ سُبُلُ السَّلَامِ وَيُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلَمَاتِ لَنُورِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَيَهْدِيهِمْ إِلَى سَرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in the Qur'an that we have, uh, that it has come to you from Allah, uh, light, and a book, a clear book. And it guides, and Allah guides those who follow it. And follow, who, who follow and seek his pleasure. And he takes from the, he, he takes them from the darkness to the light by his permission. And he guides them to the straight path. This is what the Quran has to offer us. This is Kitabillah. This is the Hablillah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our Shaykh, Shaykh Abdul Razak Al Badr, and his father, Shaykh. Allama Abdul Masin al Abad, half of the whom Allah Ta'ala would jinnah to those and bless them with khair and to continue to teach the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And may Allah forgive us all of our, our misdeeds and may Allah bless us to be of those who adhere to the Quran, which is the Hablillah. Wa Sallallahu Wasallam ala Nabi and Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.